for the record, I just want to uh, clarify or, or uh, correct something, I should say, because when I when I mentioned, there is we, so let's let's just get, it's been a couple of days, so let's get our bearings. We have a machokis between a bai varava, is it also to carry um, a, in between the, in between the lechis, or in between a lechi, in that area, is it mutta to carry or not? Abayi says it's not, and Rava says that it is. And and uh, we got into it through a uh, quote of uh, Rabbi Yochanan, and Rabbi Yochanan says, take this learning outside, didn't like the b'risa. Um, Rava said he didn't like any part of the b'risa. And um, Abayi says, no, he liked part of the b'risa, just not the other part of the b'risa. And uh, we had talked about a point uh, where we had proven from Rav that that it says if you have a um, uh, he said if you have a, the area within it within the uh, the opening you need another lachi to tocha pesach tocha lachi achla tiro and when I and then we spoke about the Nigmar says and maybe you want to tell me it's four by four I had mentioned mistakenly although Tosis tells me not to learn like me so I guess it's a it's a decent havamina but. Um, but bottom line is, it's even for Tfachim. I just want to correct that point that I had said, I had mentioned, I think, that possibly a for Tfachim, but I think that's the main, the main shot is that the minute something is for maybe you want to make a distinction between an area of for Tfachim and not for Tfachim, to that the... Uh, space between the Yes, well, not, we're, not, we're not up to that with a bunch of lechis. So what's the for Space there. Right. Exactly. So you got a lechi there on the end, and then that whole wall that protrudes is, is also your own. Your right, but I'm saying, but does maybe you want to argue that the only time we said it needs another lechi it would only be when it's for tfachim. I said for Amis originally, and I'm just correcting oh. it that it's even for tfachim would require another lechi, so and you I'll. to carry in that area. Right, correct. To which I'm going to respond, and the answer was I'll prove to because it says um, uh, we quote another statement of Rav that Tocha Pesach Afishem Adal Adal Tocha Chach Latiro. Even it doesn't have four by four Tfachim, and therefore um, bottom line is it seems like uh, Abai is right that you cannot carry Bain Halichayim. To which Rav came up with this idea of. Uh, no, it's only when it's open to a Kamalist. We came up with this fancy high fluting concept of Matsuminasmino veneer that the Kamalist sucks in the um the lechi and that, that people do say sort of in a language that it becomes like one one big domain. It's sort of I suck you into what I am and if I'm a Kamalist, you're a Kamalist, but if I'm a Shusarabim, I can sort of suck you in and you become you stay your separate entity, which is essentially a Mokum Patur. Okay. Um if you're a Shusarabim, are you saying you can carry in that space? It's only According power. to Rava, correct. Rava says if, 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 if the outside was a Shusarabim, then it remains distinct and separate, and then becomes a place you can carry. And this, this is part of my chlokas by Rava. But according to Rava, yes, you'll be able to carry. If it's less than four Tfachim by four Tfachim. If it's more by four, more than four by four Tfachim, then the Lomza says not that it becomes a Mavli, but it comes a Mokam Chashiv. Once it's four by four, it becomes a Mokam Chashiv. And because it's a Mokam Chashiv, it needs another Lechi to lie to carry there. Less than four by four uh, would not need one. I, I, I'm about to, I just showed you back before Yontif, we showed that Rav held even less than four by four. And Rav responded, that's only by Carmelis. That you cannot carry there because the Carmel sucks you in and Motsa Minasmino. And one other point, just looking around in Allah and Ervin, to clarify the point that we were de- debating with those uh, curtains, right? See, so they do say, Al um, Alak Solim, when we talk about the Movi having the Korah uh, having to be Alak Kosel, it clearly in Allah it, it does not mean it actually has to rest on the walls, even if it's within. Alak Kosel just means it's not beyond. It's not hanging out in Rosh Hashanah. It's in. Be, it's inside the uh, the area of the Mavli, and even if it's sort of like that uh, shower pole that hits the two sides, that's going to be good enough because it's within the framework of the walls as opposed to outside the walls. So that's just to clarify that point um, for the record. Okay. In this case here, if, if that's not to say the Mavli by itself, then how, how you matter with the lechi? What is it there? 
The, if what? The, 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 the area in between the, the two walls. The lechi works for a mummy. So how, if, it works, if this is not a mummy, then what is it that the lechi works? Well, definitely not a movie. Um, uh, Tosa, Tosa says it's not a movie. Yeah, what is it? Well, it, it, I mean, it's not its own movie. I think the yeah. pshat is it's an extension. It's an extension of, of uh, the, you know, that's what you have said, the, the extension of the inside movie. We view it as one long movie. Then you're getting, if you're saying it's an extension, then what, you know, then, I mean, you're saying the whole thing is a, it's a separate well, area. It's separate, but it's not separate. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. Well, yeah, unless yeah, I, I hear you. It's a good point. It's just unless you say it's one, it's one uh, long. In other words, we just we see, we see that as an extension of the inside mavoi, and we need the lechi. Tomato. If you don't have the lechi. You need two lechi. In other words, yeah, but you have to say that somehow it's an extension, and therefore, the inside lechi could work for the inside part of the movie, but for the outside part of the movie, you need another lechi. Yeah. Say right. He says clearly it's not right. So I guess that's a shot that you have to view it as an extension of the of the inside movie. Okay, so we're not done with this high flute and stuff yet. So one more. We're up to. Um, Amalei, right by the dot. Amalei, we're about three quarters of the way down. A testament amal, a testament alif. Amalei of Huna, braid of Yeshua le Rava. The Alat Tizbra, the Bain lechaim aser. Do you not, Rava, have to agree that the area between the lechi is indeed aser to carry, which has been the whole point of contention between Abaye and, and Rava? Vam Rava barav Chana, Rav Yechelim, Mavi Shorats for belechaim, pochos pochos bidalid. Again, this is a quote of Rabbi Yochanan. So it's all the same sheet to the same person. We're trying to clarify what's Rabbi Yochanan's position. If we have Rabbi Yochanan record, it's a pretty strong proof. But let's see what the proof is. If, if you have a movi, sharot spoy belechayim pochos pochos So you've lined the, um, the, uh, the, the movi with these poles, as you see, each one less than four tfachl apart from each other, okay, but more than three tfachl apart from each other. So, so what, what? So what is the status there? So how many do they? Uh, that happens to be what four? Okay, they lined it with four different lachis, right? You see, olive bays, gimel. Is that a dalit? What is? It looks like a gimel, a gimel, and a gimel. Two gimels? They're, they're, they're all bays, I think. All bays. The, the, the lachis are all bays because it's referring it's to. They're all bays. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Also, fine. No, because that far one. Whatever, okay. So that's it, but right, but so you see on the left side on the, the picture one hundred two. If you're following with us in the uh, Pirush Chai, so you've got now. It, now basically, if they're between three and four tefachim apart from each other, so that gets into the whole issue as we're about to learn of lovud. When do you say lovud and when not? So it comes into the machlokes between Rishim Begum and Rabbanon, and now the Gemara is going to explain what do I mean by that. Rishim Begum Yil Dama Amrin on Lavud. According to Rishim Begum Yil, who says Lavud goes up to four Tfachim, Mishdamish Ad Chudai Hapnimi Shalachi. Okay, Shalachi Hapnimi. According to Rishim Begum Yil, that those four boards or poles, whatever you want to call them, are essentially all connected. So it's basically you've got a very long mavi, and uh, you've got a very long lechi, and you can only carry up to the inside part with that, is that a dalid? Yeah, it looks yeah. like a dalid. That looks like a dalid. So up until the dalid, you can carry, right, which is the inside flat part of the first mavi, the first most innermost mavi, and up to there you can carry, beyond that you cannot carry, because the mavi with all the attachments are now... Uh, one big thick mavoi and uh, one big thick lechi, and as a result, you can only carry up to the front of it, like we had said, said earlier, different sheets about carrying to the inside or to the outside, and clearly this sheet holds, you can only carry up into the inside part of the, of the lechi. But according to Rabbanon, where Lovud cannot apply because each lech is separated by more than three tfachim, you can use up until... The the inner the uh, inner uh, side of the outer lechi, the last one that we're looking at, 
Okay, where well, you see the gimel, right? Uh, what's a gimel? Yeah, okay, you, you, up until the Gimel, you can capture the Gimel, because the other Lechis are basically inconsequential. And they each stand alone, they're not all connected, and as a result, there's no reason why you can carry up to the Gimel, and, but not beyond the Gimel. However, right, what is, what is the clear implication, of the, and it's more than implication, and he continues in, in explaining Rabbi Yochanan, he says, clearly, but in between the Lechis, um, of whether or not you're going, you know, uh, you hold it's all connected as one, or whether you hold it's just the last one that's doing it for you, the Kliyam Aser. Everyone would agree that the Bein be- Lechayim, be- between the Lechi itself and the area that the flat part that the uh, Lechi is wide, you cannot carry in that area. Seemingly supporting Abai's understanding that you cannot carry be- le- the, be- between the Lechayim, as opposed to Rav who said you could. Okay, to which, sure enough, Rava, Rava says, you know, I can, I can deal with that statement, I can agree with it, and I still don't have a problem, why not? Rava Hasanami, the Pesuach Lekambalus. Rava will give you the same answer, in that case where it's open, on the other side of the Movi is a Karmalus. It's a park, it's a nice, uh, you know, quiet street, it's not a big thoroughfare. What? Avul Shusra Mai, Shari, same back and forth as we had uh, on Monday, what? But, um, or Sunday, I should say Sunday, right? Yeah. Uh, but what? You're going to tell me if it was open to Rosh Hashanah, you're, it's going to be mutter? You mean to tell me that Rosh Hashanah is actually more lenient than a Rosh uh, a Kamalis? The, the um, citizen is in the ground, what? And the, uh, the, um, uh, the immigrant is what? The alien, yeah, immigrant, alien, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they're up in the heavens. I mean, what's going on here? Where it says, yes, in, exactly, that's what, exactly what I'm saying, because Matzim and Esminoi, the, the two similar Rishriyas found find each other, Vinayar, and they rejuvenate to, to wake up, to become one. And therefore, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, let's finish the Rashi's here and turn the page. Um, Vatlot Hizbra, I believe, right? Okay, about 10 lines up from the bottom. I believe that's where we got to. Okay. Don't you, don't you, Rava, have to capitulate that, that, that Rava, that Rabbi Yochanan indeed says like a buy, not like you? Okay, in the length of the Mavli, uh, from the beginning towards the end, with, uh, for, uh, at a length of two or three Amos, there is no, between each lechi, as the lechi continues, the different lechayim, you know, um, in, in the, with, with, with spaces in between, there is not between one, one lechi and another four tfachim, but there is, but there is between them three tfachim. So, Bonam Achlag is Shivin Rabbanon. Difficult, Elbim Misho Shivya Dalid, Yamino Lover Eloi. They earlier argued that is, do you say love between three and four Tfachim, or don't you? So, this will lead right into that. From that Machlokas, we can learn out, Shaf Pech Shemavizeh, Yesh Machlokas Benayim. That they will argue about the status of this Mavi. Ruachalam of Farsh will say, Okay, Rabbi Yochan does not really explain the matter. And Rav Huna Rav Yeshua is the one who's explaining the ultimate meaning as he gets into the details. Why? One second. Okay, because of perforce that which Rabbi Yochanan said. Rabbi Yochanan just said the initial statement that it, that th- this case of when you line the mavui with different lechis, it's shaykh the machlokas Rabbi Shimon and Rabbanan hochal meshkacha so el betashmas shegnei halachayim. Here you will only find the relevancy of the issue, I guess. Okay, now let's let's continue, Rash. I'm not sure where, where he's going with it. Let's see. But you know, you'll only find the relevant point of the Machogas Rishimin and Rabbanon when you're dealing with the usage opposite the Lechis. The Rab Shimon have a Kulu Kichad Lechi. The corner of Shimon we viewed as all one Lechi because of the Lovewood principle. You only can carry up until the inner 
uh, you know, uh, flat flat part of the inner mavli, uh, of the inner lechi. Shalech haprimi av mishum luchutz av bein luchaim. Right, but clearly the the implication is it's saying it very clearly that anything beyond that would be considered bein lachayim and it would be considered aser. So in other words, by the very fact that the way he explains it, you see that you only can carry up until the inner part, but the area of the lechi itself, the width of the lechi, cannot carry. The aser. But a it's not like one lechi. Okay, and the mavi then becomes basically allowed to be carried and based on the most outermost lechi, and that's what car- that's what allows the mavi to be used. And you're allowed to carry up until the inner flat part of the outermost. Alechi, the Kenegat Chitzon Luchudei have a Bein Lechaim, because only opposite the last one is called the category of Bein Lechaim, because that's, a, that's the one that's actually functioning to allow you to carry. Alma, it's what do you see from this, this uh, analysis and this explanation of the Machlokas? Alma, Rabbi Yochan, Bein Lechaim Aser, clearly, according to Rabbi Yochanan, who started this whole statement, in between Lechis is Aser to carry. Di Bein Lechaim, Rabbi Yochanan, Mutter, because that would have been Mutter to carry. My Shaykh plug tied Rabbi Shimon Rabbanon, Lacha. Okay, what, what, what difference would it make? What shaykhs would it have? Bein avikulu kechad, bein loavikulu kechad, whether they're all like one or all different, can I get kulam have a mishtamish? You can still, would be allowed to carry, right? If the old rubber was right, then it wouldn't matter. Bottom line is, you could always carry up until the very end, the far end of the, of the lechi, because bein lechaim is mutter. If you held between lechis was mutter, you go ahead and carry the, during that an entire, you know, um, between the, uh, the bays, between the, the dollar and the gimbal, you'd be allowed to carry because that's that's exactly what Bela Chaim is. According to anybody, that that area which should be permissible. Clearly, it's not. Clearly, the whole machlokus is how you view um, the the Bein Chaim and and to to determine what exactly is the area you cannot carry it. To which Rav responded, "You're right." Typically, I would not be able to explain this, except that this particular case is that it's open to a Carmelist. When it's open to a Carmelist and you have a, pla- you have a, a, a relatively insignificant place, well, then that, that becomes bottled to the Carmelist, okay? And, uh, and that's why it, you have to find out uh, whether, it's not, whether or not it's connected, whether the, now, now the love will play a critical role, because indeed, in this particular case, it's also to carry Bein L'chaim, because of the unique situation that it's open to a Carmelist. Okay, with that we finish the Rashi's and Amun Aleph. Let's proceed to a different shot. And this is sort of a proof. The fact that Rav is going to learn a different shot is exactly what, what Rashi alluded to by saying that there is the, the actual quote of Rabbi Yechon is only this comes, that this issue comes into the Machlokis. But how it's explained, that, that is what Rabbi Shua ben... Um, Ravuna Breda of Yeshua is ex- explained because clearly Ravash is going to come with a different explanation, and therefore, you know, clearly that the, he only made that original statement. Everything else is now Pirusha Pirusha. But okay, so let's now do Ravashi with now an Amid Beis, Tes Amid Beis. Ravashi Omar, and we're, we're ready for the next diagram. Ravashi Omar going Sharots for Belechay and Pochus Pochus be Arba Meshach Arba Amos. So here is where the Arba Amos plays a role. And the extent of these lechis carried over into an area, if you add them all up, that would be more than four amos. And now once it's more than four amos, that becomes its own movli. And then for sure, you would need another lechi to matter that area of the movli. Then there's no issue. Right? That for Tfachim, um, even for Tfachim, we said, uh, yeah, it would be okay, but for, for, but the, for Tfachim is only... Significant because it's a makom choshu, but here for Amis is mamish its own movi. Let's see. So let's read one more time. Ravashi magon shirots for belichayim pochos pochos miarba. Again, it's less than four tefachim uh, uh, distance between one lechi and another. B'meshach arba amos in the extent in the length of four amos. If you hold lavud, have a movi. Now it becomes its own movi. Okay, v'tzorach lechi achilatiro. And it needs another lechi to matter it. Although I, what about the whole chatzar business? I mean, it's not like it's a movi whether chatzar opens to it or not. What happened? Tosis is whole sfar that you, you need a, a chatzar and a whatever. Yeah, what? You put the lechi on the other wall in this case then. Because you can't put it on the wall. It's got those beams, those one, two, three, what? four, five beams. Well, why not? 
because that's what's forming. That's what's that's that's what's forming. Well, so again, another so so if the if they're all connected, then you need a separate mavo. If they're all connected, you need a separate, you need, lechi. A separate lechi rather to mata that mavo. So Correct. That would be on the other wall then. You put that. You put it on the other wall because you can't put it on that wall because then it's just going to get. Up by no, those it's, well, it's protruding further. Which right. Will work. And that's the yeah. point. It's a hecker. If it's, if it's another. Well, no, we know it can't protrude further. We're not sure. Why not? Why can't it can't protrude? Go into the Rosh Hashanah. Well, no, who no, says? Into, why not? Well, the what's wrong if it protrudes a little bit into Rosh Hashanah? Because we had that before, where where the thing had to be with inside the Mavoi. That would be inside the Rosh Hashanah. Well, time. okay. Let, let's see. Let's see. Um, so one second. So according to the one that says, <laughs> you need another lechi to matter it. Because this is not such, uh, is, is just, it's too big. And, and it's all connected. And as a result, it needs a, a lechi. Rabbanan, I'm really loving the love of Rabbanan, that they're each, each um, panel there is, uh, each lechi is considered a separate entity. Um, okay. You don't need another lechi to matter. So this is another approach. It's what's going on here. It's not about um, the, the um, you don't need the whole caramelous. Let's see one second. Yeah, um, yeah, according to this, right, it would be a simpler way of explaining it. Let's see. Ravashi Omal Yolam Be'lechayim Rabbi Yochan Mutter. I'll tell you really like uh, Ravashi is coming to defend Rava. That really Be'lechayim is really Mutter to carry. Vaidam Rabbi Yochan the Shaykh Plotai the Rishim Rabbon and Locha. Okay, the reason why Rabbi Yochanan drew a connection between the Machlokes, between Rabbi Shimon and Rabbonon, to this issue, it extended four Amis into the Mavi. Rabbi Shimon, next Rashi, all of this is considered one Lechiv, if you have four Amis within a Mavi, that gets done as a separate Mavi. And it gets out of the realm of Lechi, and you have to find another Lechi to matter it. Lechi to matter Shabain Lechayim. Okay, now Rashi is saying in his first chat that all you need another Lechi for is to matter carrying up during the entire area of where there are these poles. But let's say that little area in between. Right, that start, that that area at the very top of the U. Can you carry in there? So Rashi in his first chat seems to apply. Yes, you could carry on the top of the U because, after all, the because you are looking at a wonderful. Granted, it's very long lechi. It's a four ama lechi, but at the end of the day, isn't it a lechi? Don't matter the inside. But from the inner part, at the top of the U, okay, the argument will be that, granted, it can't be a, it can't be a lechi to matter the inside area, but it can't be, a, I mean, to matter the area opposite it the entire way, but it will be a lechi to matter the inside area. The lahanu vadinir lechi v'ovav, um, the lahanu vadinir, because to those people inside the top of that U, that lechi is is visible. You can see it protruding clearly, and um of need only have lechi, and its thickness will be viewed as a lechi. And with that, it'll matter the inside part of the mavi, the very top of the U. Kach shemati. This is a shot that I heard. Vilinira, but according to me personally, no. Shafil Pepinimi Ulfnim Aina Nitter. I'm not gonna mat I don't hold I hold that even from the inner part, a lechi that's four amis cannot be a lechi at all. It's not called a lechi, period. It'll not matter anything. And even the people at the top of the Mavi will not be able to carry. He says, uh Vilinira Shafil Pinimi Ulfnim Aina Nitter, the Lechia Pinimi Lorbyochan and Aina Mata Klal. Al Rabbanon, okay, it's according if that's all, if you hold of love it. Al Rabbanon, but according to Rabbanon, Kol Chav V'Chav Yapi Nafshehu Mishri Mavli Belechi Kama. But according to um, according to Rabbanon, it's each one. So the um, the entire Mavli will be able to be fixed by that first by that first uh, Lechi, the one all the way out uh, on the outside. With the very first lechi, the entire movi is okay. Can you carry inside the lechi? That's not up for this. We're not into that. We're not discussing that right now. That's not the issue uh, that we're dealing with. Okay. So at this point, we're we're, we're good to go weiter. Um,
let's proceed. Now we're going to get into this issue a little bit, although it's not exactly the case that uh, Michael was referring to. But the assumption that Gemara is going to make now, as we probably get to the next part, that first Movi, I mean that first Lechi, that's at the very out by Rosh Hashanah Okay, the assumption is going to be that most of the people, when you make a Lechi, you stick it out a little bit, that it protrudes to be seen by the people of Rosh Hashanah So even if it, it is all connected... Let's take a look at let's let's go let's go back in the Gemara. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, according to Rabbanan, who's uh, let's, I'm sorry. Right, about six lines on. According to Shimon Gamliel, why can't we consider this lechi? Okay, even though you have a love it situation, why can't it be where it's appearing from the outside, but it's smooth from the inside? So, you, so in terms of the lechi, why can't you view the validity of the lechi based on the fact that it's protruding outward a little bit, as you see in 105? Okay, right there, right there is where it protrudes. So granted, you have, you have all this big, fat... Uh, or I should say, long lechi, which maybe c- makes everything uh, um, considered like one w- one big mavli. But why can't the mavli be mata with the protrusion of that of that little shmitzik there beyond the mavli? And it's near a b'mechutz. It appears to the people to in Rishus Rabbim. Me, uh, okay, so. You're telling me that you cannot carry. You should be able to carry based on that small lechi. Carry it to where? All, all the way up until the end of the uh, mavi, because you've got that lechi sticking out. That that's a lechi. It's going to matter the mavi. So you say you can carry it all the way up to the, the end of the lechi or up to the end of the wall? Well, you can't carry it up to the end of the lechi because because that's already Rosh Hashanah. Right. So it would be the wall on the other side if you could carry it in that area. Well, um, okay, let's, I mean, you're asking, can you... What's he saying you can carry up to? Uh, uh, my, it's my question. Okay, let, okay, a good, good question. Um, let's take a look at Rashi. Ulrab Shimon, the Nami, the Kuli, Chad, Hu, Vinita Mishimavli, granted that that entire area is called a Mavli, right? Because that's the whole Amdis. Now that it's four Amis, it's called its own Mavli. Well, fine, let it be its own mavi, but let it be matted with the lechi that's extending. Sounds like, let's, let's see, but it sounds like you can carry throughout the entire mavi. Up until that shmitzik. We're looking at Rashi now. Granted, it's all one. The boy Why? Um, how do you see for Rabbi Yochanan? Hey, how does Rabbi Yochanan see from Shimon that you need another lechi to matter this mavui? Listri high mavui benir bechutz v'shav mifnim. Let this mavui be uh, be uh, allowed to be carried in based on the principle of it appear it's appearing from the outside and it's equal from the inside. The mistamik yuk malalechi kama because logically you know mistamu based on the typical way people put down lechis uh, when you put down this first lechi mashcho kima klapichutz you extend it a little bit kima means a little bit extend a little bit towards the outside. Okay, because that's the way most lechis are positioned. When you put down a lechi, standard procedure is the lechi protrudes somewhat beyond the mavi, a little bit into the rishos harabim. as it appear like this, as you see that little diagram there that Rashi has. Um, okay, you can see it a little bit on the inside. You can see it a little bit on the outside. Shuk v'shom l'shem lechi. Okay, um, and that's how it's established here for the sake of alechi. The emeno moshech sas rochav alechi lahala because they're mavi mat el b'shav lehen kizeh because if you don't do it that way, but you do it this way, where it's mamish up against flat up against the the wall, and therefore people of Rishus Ram looking sideways down Wilshire Boulevard will not be able to see that lechi protruding near kamaisif al rochav ovi akosel. Hamavi, all it looks like is you're adding to the the thickness of the of the mavi wall. It's not recognizable to the people of the outside that it's indeed a lechi. Um, only it's only recognizable to the inside people. 
that it's not part of the wall. Because clearly the thickness there is, is, uh, appears to the inside people. So yes, you've, you've definitely made something nicker to the inside, but you haven't actually done anything for the people of the outside. Uh, so since logically the way you normally want to make it is that it, it's it's able to be seen on both sides of the of the uh, equation, namely both the people of the Mavi and the people of Shusarabim. Okay, when you when you make them all equal. By right by c- connecting all of these lachaim based on the lovud principle that we are doing according to Reb Shimon, we also kaisel and becomes one big wall. Miolishtri mavui bahi blita. Even though yes, in essentially it's one big wall, but it's a big wall that extends a little bit into the into the rishus rab bahi blita kamaisa and there is a bechutz. Let it be okay. I don't know if this sort of runs counter to your vision. Remember you said you need something different and the wall seems like a wall that goes beyond and extends outward could still work. Because we did say, okay, um, that we're going to say later on, we're going to get more into this, but if it appears on the outside and it's equal on the inside, that's still good. That's acceptable. So why isn't it acceptable here? To answer, and to answer your question, Michael, it seems you can clearly walk all the way up to the right before the Rishus Rab, because that's when the lechi starts. Whereas essentially, the lechi is a lechi that only serves to to make it visible from the outside. So that's really viewed as a lechi, the part that protrudes, and everything else is like one long wall. Really, if you walk on the outside, you need a korach as opposed to a lechi. Oh, but well, but bottom line, we have the case. We have one o five. So in, in, in picture 105, in diagram 105, you can carry, even yeah, though it's one long... on the inside doesn't know where it ends. They don't know where that left-hand okay. side wall ends. True. So they don't know where the Mabui okay. ends. Okay, but that's why we all came today to learn that even though that's true, and that the people on the inside who really need the, the you know, they are, they are, some of them are going to notice it, but... The people on the Rosh Hashanah can't carry anyway. No, I, true, but at least it, it is a hecker to those people for sure that they're going to see something's going on with this movie that there's a lechi there to to rectify it and to make it you know valid. But uh, you're right, even though but that, that's a chiddush, a chiddush, even though it's near it's it's shavivifnim, it's good enough. Near bechus v'shavivifnim is considered good enough. If they do see it, it's, if you go all the way toward the middle of the movie, they see that edge, right? But they don't know where the wall ends. Mm-hmm. Well, the, 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 the lechi's not necessarily the same height as the wall. The lechi should be 10 tefachim, 10 tefachim, right? Yeah, well, the wall would be at least 10 tefachim. Right, so I'm saying the wall will protrude above the lechi, so you'll see where the wall is. Yeah, okay, but it sounds like even if it's exactly the same, it does not sound like you need a separate entity. It sounds like it's, even though it's an extension of the wall, it's still going to be good if that wall protrudes a little bit into Yeshua Sarabim. So the question, therefore, is why... Well, the side they can't carry it, but people on the side they can't carry Think it'd be more important to find the space. Okay, well, listen. The good news is you and Rabbi Yochanan will agree. Look, ah. look right? Because so because the Gemara again, this we're in the middle of a kash right now. The kash is yes. if you hold that that's good and a standard lechi, even though it's five, right? You did it in a weird kind of way with five, you know, b- you know, uh, yes. boom, 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 boom. Let let that first lechi be valid for, for the fact that it's apparently that it appears to the outside people. To which the Gemara respond back to the Gemara now. He says, "Midi have a time of El Rabbi Yochanan. Is this not whole discussion only in Rabbi Yochanan? Okay, so this is all about explaining Rabbi Yochanan's opinion how he got us, you know, into this quagmire in the first place by saying that this halacha has to do with the machlokes of Shimon and, and Rabbanon. So he's the one who's talking about this whole thing altogether." Okay, that Ravin, uh, when Ravin came, he said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan that if it's a situation where it appears, you can see it from the outside, but you cannot see it from the inside. Michael Zacharish is right, it's not a lechi, and therefore, Enacham, you're right, you're right that had you not learned like Rabbi Yochanan, you maybe you could have said it's mutter anyway, but we're in Rabbi Yochanan's world. In Rabbi Yochanan's world, you cannot use the outer schmitzik because I care about the inner people. And the inner people don't see the outer schmitzik, basically, and therefore it will not it will not be good. Uh, look at it. Uh, 
Look at Rashi. We're only asked this kasha in Rabbi Yechon. Yelof me love it. Who learned that from love? The Rabbi Shimon Psula lahay mavi. Now the corner of Rabbi Shimon is going to he's going to pass this mavi because it extends four amos. Right. That's how we got into this whole situation. He says he holds a no need don. He said, I don't buy that Schmitz concept. And therefore, according to you're going to need another Lechi to matter it. And I guess, like, uh, like you said, that Lechi, or not, maybe you said, the Lechi might have to be on the other side. Because what are you going to do? This is where you're going to put this Lechi that's, you know, that's going to make it valid. <coughs> okay, unless you maybe stick it up against the side of that first Lechi, a Lechi on top of a Lechi. No, you can't do that. Not on top of a Lechi. Why not? I mean, not a top, you know, side, side by side. Well, then that makes that mobile longer. Or no, if you put it... If, if you narrow that gap yeah. and put it on, on right. the left side, just make the... Or on the you know, right side. Extra. You could put it on the right side. I assume that for sure would be good, but I don't see why another lechi that basically sticking out from the wall that you can see would also be good as well. Okay, let's go back to the Gemara. Itmar. So let's let's go back to this issue, which uh, we just got into. Itmar. Nirm if the Mishom Vachot, Nidam Mishom Lechi, if the Lechi appears to the inside people, but it's smooth to the outside, that's called the Lechi. Okay, so even though you wanted to do both, but if it's more apparent to the inside people, and it's, it, it is apparent to the inside, and not apparent to the outside, that is a Lechi. Near Bechutz, the case we've just been talking about, okay, like for example, like that, right? That's 107, right? Chudah Panimi, um, whatever, in other words, um, 108 you, is what we've been talking about. 107 is flush. No, 107 is, it, it, it does not appear to the outside. You cannot see it oh, the outside, if, yeah. to the outside people. You can see it to the inside. Yeah. Is that called a lechi? The, the answer is absolutely yes, that's a good lechi. Okay, however, what about the other way around? One more time. Near if the Mishab Bachot Zina Mishum Lachi, near Bachot, Visham if Nim, Rabchi Rab Shimin. It's my focus of Rabchia, Rabchia, and Rab Shimin. Ben Rebbe, and Rab Shimin, the son of Rebbe. Chadam Anida Mishum Lachi, Vachadam and Enidim Mishum Lachi. One says yes, one says no. One agrees with Michael, one does not. And to Stayim, and I will prove to the Rabchia, who Dama Anida Mishum Lachi, that it's Rabchia who says it does work. It is a, a good Lachi. Why? How do I know? It's not because Rebbe learned, and Rebbe we know was the one who compiled one of the two main compilers of Brises. The term, you know, they're telling you about the authoritative, you know, basically they compiled the authoritative Brises for the most part. It's not If you have a wall, that one of the sides of the walls indents from its friend, or from its, you know, counterpart, whether or not it, by, by the indentation, it becomes apparent to the inside people and smooth to the outside, or whether it appears to the inside and it's equal to the outside, either way, okay, is... It, it's it's viewed as a valid lechi. So this brisa of clearly is stating to us that we have the two. Uh, yeah. Okay. So one second. So right. So you take a look at Aleph, right? And that's a lechi that is very smooth to the inside and noticeable to the outside. Okay. But the other one, if it, if it goes in the other direction, right, it would be okay. But although this is not, I don't know. I think. To the inside and yeah, but this is with the wall itself. I think this is a little bit. This is, they're more, probably the vital ones. Yeah. I think the next, the next uh, yeah. batch. Um, okay, but um, let's take a look at Rashi. Um, actually, I think we're going to have to pick up Rashi's tomorrow morning. Okay, then we'll get the right diagrams too. Okay, Shkayach.